Uh, hey guys, my name is Gabriel. I'm just going to go over how I set up my top rope system with you. Um, I'm not an instructor by any means, but I've done a lot of research to anchor building and um, anchor systems in general, and I've taken some classes, and I've read a few books on it, so I've really taken a little bit from everyone, and um, I've noticed on YouTube there's a lot of videos. Some of them aren't the best. Some of them are really good, so I'm going to take what I've gotten from all of them and put them into a really good uh, video that I think will work for most uh, anchor systems. What I'm going to do today is construct an anchor system using only two anchor points. And the reason I'm going to do only two is because you don't always get three. So I'll do another video if you guys want of one with three if anyone actually looks at this. But for now we'll just do one with two. Um, and given that they are only two anchors, they're really strong anchors. I wouldn't trust two kind of, you know, not the best anchors. So I'm going to do it with these two really good bolts. One of them is a glue-in and I know it's got a pretty long stem into the ground so I know that's going to be good. And the other one is a standard bolt, like a concrete style bolt. So those will be the two bolts we're using today. They're both really solid. Yeah, that's what we'll be working with. I'm going to use static rope. It's not as cumbersome as people think. It's pretty easy to carry around. But this is in 50 foot length. You can buy it in REI by the foot, or you can buy it on Amazon, which is what I did. I'll try to put the link if I can. It makes life really easy when you're setting up a top rope system, especially if you're gonna be there for a while. Uh, we'll get started. The other piece of equipment we'll be using is um, obviously carabiners. We're gonna use two D-shaped carabiners, and we're gonna use these to connect the rope into the anchors themselves. I have my two pair shapes that are specific for top rope, and that way as they wear out, I can keep track of them a little easier than mixing them up with my other carabiners. One more carabiner to lock off one of those knot, uh, hitches. And then I'll be using my Gree Gree and another parachute carabiner. So that's pretty much what I have set aside for every single time I set up top rope. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our 50 foot length of static and we're gonna tie a figure eight knot in one of them, figure eight on a bike. I'm not gonna bother going over all the knots with you but if you don't already know them. So I would do that before you ever come around trying to make your own anchor system. You should know a figure eight knot. We're gonna use a clove hitch and then just another overhand. Um, on the bike. So we'll get started. Um, I'm going to start off taking one of my D-shaped carabiners. Once I got my figure eight knot in my first side of it, okay, take that, hook into that, hook into my first bolt, put the carabiner upside down so the narrow side is on the anchor itself and the wider side is on the bottom. I'm going to make sure that's screwed nice and tight. From here, what I'm going to do is flake out the rope. Depending on where you're at, you don't always have to do what I'm gonna do right now, but seeing as it's pretty sloped, I think it's a little bit safer. I'm gonna take the other end, do another figure eight on a bite. Take another D-shaped carabiner, clip into that. Then I'm gonna clip into my other anchor. Okay, now what I'm gonna use this for is I'm gonna use it for my Gree Gree, and that way I can get pretty close to the edge and be safe at the same time. So Gree Gree's got its own instructions, it's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna go ahead and anchor into that. Make sure my gate's locked. Make sure this gate is locked. Okay, what that's gonna allow me to do is move a little bit back and make my knot while safely being here. And then to be a little extra safe, all I'm gonna do is take another little section of rope, tie an overhand, and that'll be my constructive catastrophe knot, okay? We're gonna start off with this first anchor that I have on this side. And what I want to do is I don't want to just make another figure eight because one figure eight is only going to have one loop of rope. So I'm going to make what's called the big honking knot. You're basically going to look at your edge. I'm going to come a little closer. And all I'm going to do is drop the rope to where I see that it's clearing the overhang. Once I know it's cleared the overhang, I'm going to give it a little extra rope, grab both strands, bring them back up okay all I'm gonna do generally if you're gonna do a figure eight you would just use one section make your figure eight I'm gonna take the tip of it bring it fold it back on itself okay and then use this to make my figure eight knot so I'm, I'm sure it's another video that you can look up on how to make this knot and now what I have is a figure eight on a bite but with two pieces running through it and the reason that's good is that if you just have the one no matter how beefy all this is, if this one rope fails, your system completely fails. So now you have two pieces as a backup, 
and you're gonna have this other piece which you can do a couple things with you can fold it over instead I'm gonna just go ahead and clip it into the same master points that I have and what we're gonna do move it over the edge and see if it clears so let me see this So you can see that that's clearing the ledge perfectly. I got lucky, you don't always get that lucky. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back up. I know that I'm clearing the ledge. I know that I'm good in that sense. I'm gonna come up to where it's safe. I'm gonna take myself off the Grigri. -gri. Now what I'm gonna do is undo my catastrophe knot. And I'm gonna pull up the slack. Okay. Come back down. I'm gonna take off my figure eight on a bike that I have right here. Set that aside for right now. Okay guys, now with the loose strand, I'm just gonna pull it until I feel like it's starting to move the knot a little bit, okay? Um, I'm gonna still come back and adjust this, so don't worry about being super precise. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a clove hitch. Again, this is one of the hitches you should probably already know if you're gonna be doing anchor system. Um, so I'm not gonna bother showing it too much, but you can take a look. You, there's a lot of different ways to do it. I'm just gonna do it the way that I do it. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna adjust it. First, I'm gonna make sure that gate is locked also. Adjust it a little bit, okay. I just want to have a little bit of tension on this. I don't want it to be too much, but I want it to have a little more tension because when I pull the system down, this will cinch down and be even. Okay guys, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my knot back up, okay? I'm gonna take the two pear-shaped carabiners that I was mentioning earlier, I only use for my top one. And the reason I only use them is because these do wear down with the rope running through them. So it's easier for me to keep track of the wear when I have two that are designated for it. And they're also nice and beefy. Take it, I'm gonna clip it into all three loops, facing one way, turn it over, and then take the next one, clip it into all three loops, facing the other way. So what I end up with is carabiners that are reversed and opposed. And what that does is it makes sure that if one gate opens, it's a slim chance it's gonna come out through the other side also. So I got these guys set aside. Now what I'm gonna do, flake the rope. What you want to do is find the middle point. So we're going to start off with the two ends and I'm just going to start flaking it until I get to the midpoint. That's it. Okay, now I found the midpoint. I'm good. I'm going to come back to the ends real quick and just tie a uh, double fisherman knot, you know, just something to act as a stopper. So if I did repel or even during the belay side, you know, there's a stopper knot there. Now both my sides are knotted. I'm gonna take my center and I'm gonna clip both of these guys, both the carabiners onto the rope, and then lock it up. Both of them, make sure that they're locked before you send this thing down, okay? So now I have my two carabiners, okay? Pear-shaped ones, clipped into all three loops of the master point and then clipped into the rope on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this over the lip right there and slowly start in there lowering down my rope. What this is gonna do, obviously it's gonna put, get the rope to the ground, but it's also gonna allow me to weight the system so I can tune the flow pitch a little bit more accurate. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop the rope from right here. Well, okay. no one's down there, but you should yell rub before you drop it. Now, the system is weighted. All I'm gonna do, is you can see how this leg has slack in it compared to the other side. So I wanna get the slack out of the system, and that way both points of my anchor system are evenly loaded and not one is taken below more than the other. So it's pretty simple with the clove hitch, and that's why I like using the clove hitch. I'm gonna take my knot, and I'm just gonna run the slack through the system. And I'm going to get it to where it's tight and I'm going to take it just a step farther than that and pull it just a couple inches past that. Now what that does is when this knot, when this hitch cinches, it's going to take the weight and pull it so now where they're even. So now I have this, I'm sure I'm in the 
middle. Okay. Make sure my gates are locked. Cool. Uh, and then just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna take one more carabiner. This is just a smaller one. It's, it's a really strong carabiner, but I don't need a bulky one, so I like having that small one for this. I'm gonna take it, do one real quick. You can do a figure eight if you want, or you can do it however you need to. Do a figure eight on a bike. Clip my carabiner into it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and clip it right into the same uh, anchor system. And now what that's gonna do is it's just gonna act as a backup for my clove edge. So, got all that done. Okay. As we look at the system, both of them have a good even amount of tension on them. And that means that they're gonna have a really evenly distributed weight load as we start climbing on it. 